Of course, it's August, and that means it's just going to be hot out. But just how hot? Well, it really all depends on where you live. I-Team reporter Paula Christian tells us about a new University of Cincinnati study of urban heat islands and the people who live in the Queen City's hottest neighborhoods. I'm here in the West End, which is one of the city's hottest neighborhoods. During a heat wave, it could feel like 89 degrees at 7 p.m. While here in Hyde Park, under the trees and far away from the interstate, it could feel 10 degrees cooler. That's something Sondra Davis knows all too well. She lives in South Cumminsville, which is one of the city's urban heat islands in a house without central air conditioning. My upstairs is just really hot. I just don't, I, well, I rarely go upstairs. Davis has lived here for 30 years, making do with ceiling fans, and two window units that she uses only when it's very hot and only then for a few hours at a time. She says the heat doesn't bother her, but when her sister comes to visit, she always complains. She'll stop by and say, oh my goodness, it's so hot in here and you don't even have the air on. Davis is part of a climate resiliency group that brainstorms ideas for how to cope with extreme heat like adding rooftop or community gardens and misting bus stops. She also took part in a 2016 University of Cincinnati study, which measured the temperature inside her home. Now the author of that study, Dr. Pravin B. Worker, is looking for new volunteers who live without AC in other hot neighborhoods like Winton Hills, Coryville, and Avondale to put temperature sensors in their homes. If you do not have those air conditioners, then those are the people who will be experiencing more heat stress. So that is where that unequal uh, heat distribution, unequal uh, impact of heat within the city uh, is possible. He wants to know how extreme heat impacts people who live in the city, both inside their homes and while they are outside. The hottest neighborhoods are usually closest to highways with the most blacktop and the fewest trees. We see a, a 10 to 12 degree difference from one community to another. And maybe not a big deal if you have air conditioning at your house, but a third of Cincinnatians don't. And so how do they find relief during these heat emergencies? Ollie Kroner is the city's sustainability manager. He uses heat maps to plan for the future, like where to plant more shade trees, especially as temperatures are expected to rise. City leaders predict that Cincinnati summers will feel more like those in Arkansas by the year 2030. Because global warming is real and it can it is very dangerous and like you said going forward it'll get even hotter. Paula Christian WCPO 9 I team. All right so if you live in a home without central air and would like to be part of this UC study you can go to Paula's story on WCPO.com for all the information needed.